What is good, you guys? And uh, let me first off and just say, we got AEW figures. Um, and to follow that up, um, this is just kind of a random thoughts video. And so if you don't want to hear me ramble, uh, feel free to move on. But anyways, I just kind of wanted to do this. Uh, this is just kind of like a morning chat type of video. Not sure how often I would do these, but pretty much whenever I have some intriguing updates and whatnot, kind of want to just sit down and talk and view some of my thoughts. Um, so basically every Friday I pretty much do a like early morning restock run where I go to either like Target, Walmart, just like right when they open, see what they got on the shelves. Because that's usually like the thing is I've realized Thursday, Friday are your best bets. If you go first thing in the morning, you have a chance to find something good. Um, past couple weeks I've had quite a bit of success and so it's just been kind of a nice little uh, it's been a nice uh, way to just kind of start the day. So uh, today I went to Target right when they opened at uh, 8. Um, and when I got there, they didn't really have anything on the shelves that I noticed immediately. Ironically, I was there looking for uh, the new Halo figures, um, which they didn't have. And I think that, that this is the first tidbit of information that I got that I think is going to be intriguing that may be already uh, known. But uh, basically the guy there said until, and I guess with that said, Wrestling figures, it doesn't really affect because uh, those bad boys are always off the shelves. But with the Halo figures, they cannot, they will not send them the new series until series one is cleared out. And the Halo figures were really, uh, ironically, really mass produced and uh, they just, they are all over the shelves. They're easy to find. And he basically said they won't get series two until series one is cleared out if it's the same barcode, which he wasn't 100% sure of, but just, uh, very interesting thought there and I, I mean I don't think it's gonna affect wrestling whatsoever because we can never find these things on shelves to begin with but interesting tidbit if you're looking for other figures that are very overstocked um, but then so then I was kind of I just kind of casually told him I was like well yeah just really looking for Halo wrestling figures anything like that um, and he was like oh well do you want AEW figures and I was like well, yeah and he was like, yeah, I got some in the back. There's one on the shelf that I ironically did not even see. He was tucked away behind uh, two Bobby the Brain Heenans. Big shocker there. Um, so Orange was just chilling behind there. And I was like, huh, yeah, Series 3, let's go. Let's see what you got. And uh, he came back and he had three of them from the back, and which is awesome. Um, and so it was Darby, Matt Jackson, and Riho. And I, the thing that I found interesting is where's the whole set? Why is it not shipping as a whole set? Cause like these were clearly like he told me he just like he put orange on the shelf and he hadn't stocked the rest of them yet so it was just kind of interesting that they were missing uh nick jackson and uh pock but regardless it's uh, at some point i'm gonna have to get a nick jackson but really these are the the main three that i wanted still not sold so okay what's before i dig into my thoughts so we got matt jackson and I think this figure's awesome. I just don't love the... I, I always hate open mouth head scans. Just for pick fetting, I don't think it's the best. But I love this gear. I think this gear is the coolest gear I've seen. Um, and so I just I couldn't resist on that. That's really my only hard critique of that, to be honest. I just think the head scan... I, I'm just not a big fan of the open mouth. Um, we'll do Darby next, because I think Darby is insanely cool. Um... I think the head scan could be a little bit better, but that's just me. Super nitpicky, I think. that That's the real deal right there. Love this figure. And I, I don't, for those wondering, I don't know now how I'm going to introduce him into the pick fed. I'm sure I will, but we'll have to wait and see. I have a few ideas, but meh, we'll kind of wait and see and see what happens. And then Orange, I'm very torn on because I love the character. Granted, I think he's gotten a little stale. And also, I'm not I'm not a diehard AEW guy. Um, but I'm still, like, I'll watch enough and I still do enjoy it. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm sold. Like, there's no articulation right there. Like, what are you supposed to do with his legs? Like, can you power bomb him? No, not really. So it's just, it's very limited motion, which I don't know if I love. But the figure looks awesome. So, can't, I mean, I'm probably just going to throw it up on a shelf and let him look good up there. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of my 
spiel about that. It was a very interesting morning. Um, I'm very curious to see. I mean, like I said, I went to uh, Walmart last Friday and they didn't have a whole lot in terms of figures, but I also resell on the side and they had a bunch of three cent video games. So I posted those up and that was pretty insane. Uh, but yeah, so it's just, you never know what you're going to find at these uh, restocks on Friday mornings. I definitely recommend get there right. It's like for Walmart, they open at seven. Target opens at eight. Get there right when they do it. It's the best way to do it. But yeah, that's just kind of my spiel. I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, like my ramblings. A um, couple quick updates. Spam episode 16 will be out on Tuesday. It's all filmed, all edited. I just need to get the commentary done. Just kind of waiting on a few different things. Uh, seeing if Josh can get on board for it. If not, I'll just do commentary solo uh, like normal. So we'll see. We will see. Um, the new belts are in, which I think I'm going to do a video showing off the new belts, which will go up. I'm going to film it right after this one, but I think I'll probably post it tomorrow. Uh, I'll say tomorrow on this one, so lock it in so you guys can see these new belts because they are pretty awesome. Dan did an incredible job with them. But until then, see you guys later.